So today we have a visiting uh, Labour MP. And uh, I'm going to go and see if we can get a couple of words with her. And thank her for being here. I'm only live streaming. I know, you can't go very that Why? Way. I've stood behind there a million times. I know. You have no well, cause to move me. I haven't then. agreed a single thing. Well, then people have stood over there. Okay. I've stood so there this morning and filmed. You can go and stand Oh, there we go. Hey, can you do a quick, um, so what is it we're seeing now then? Who's come up to see us and uh, tell us a bit about that? Bolton South East Labour MP, yep. um, Jasmine Qureshi. And so uh, Bolton South East um, Labour pulled this together for us? Uh, yes. Yep. 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 That's fantastic. Uh, fact finding, um, this will be coming to, uh, to Bolton, but uh, well, it will be coming all over. But uh, Yasmin has been uh, anti fracking from the start, even before the Labour officially, uh, yeah. Labour party officially came out. Uh, Brilliant. Very strong anti fracking. Good stuff. Thank you very much. Hi, Yasmin. Hi. Hi. I'm one of the dads. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for coming today. And uh, can I ask, what's the level of support from Labour? Because we got a lot of support in the run-up to the election, can which was brilliant. And uh, can, we, can we sort of work out, could we get a Labour yes, contingent sorry, sort of regularly you? here? Yeah, yeah. Well, as you know, Jeremy Corbyn said that uh, Labour would be opposing fracking. And even beforehand, Labour opposed the fracking. And until, you know, you can be sure that it's safe to do so, we should be fracking. And the government just not bothered about it. What they're concerned about is helping businesses to make loads of money. Yeah. And yet, you know, we can understand the fact that we all need energy, but there are so many other ways. We've got the solar, we've got wind, we've got water, we've got all sorts of renewable energy that we can be actually spending money on. Yeah. And renewing which will be good for the country Sorry, and so also create loads of cloud. jobs and everything as well. Yeah. So exactly. it makes Invest no. in renewables as opposed to destroying our beautiful country. And we know Labour said that they, if they were in power, they would, well, they would seek to ban it, which is brilliant. So, but in the position that we ended up in, where they're in opposition, how much work can they achieve for us in Westminster? Well, I think we can carry on doing such things as this, like visiting sites, protesting, raising questions, constantly keeping this on the agenda, and telling people how dangerous it is. And I think it's really sad that the people of this area didn't vote out a Tory government, a Tory MP, in light of the fact that they are going to be directly affected. Their the people home, of this property. area were lied to by that Tory MP well, and were lied to all along. So it's also a very elderly population in this area. So a lot of them are in retirement homes and, it's, and it's it something that's not on their edge. And yeah, that's what we've been doing six so years. So what we need to do, right, is really go out and spell the message of how badly this is going to be for them. And that is going to affect their homes, it's going to affect their life, it's going to help affect their families as well. And therefore it's important that next summer they have an opportunity, they should throw out um, yeah. for the MP. And also, so they should be out here campaigning as well and supporting. I know they are, but they need to do more of that. Six years of non-stop yeah. campaigning for our residents. We haven't stopped and it's been a really hard six years. We got the planning rejected. That was the work of the residents behind the scenes doing all the objections, hiring the legal teams, getting in the experts and we drove it out. It's Westminster that overthrew the hard work of these residents, many of whom were despondent after that and unable really to go on. I mean, people have put in an awful lot and burned themselves out as well. Yeah, well, I want to congratulate the people over here for fighting such a good campaign yeah. and for your local county council council as well, who rejected them. But unfortunately, when they went to the minister, Conservative minister, he gave the, the orders to allow this to happen. And I think what's even more worrying and it's worth observing while you're here is that part of the planning rejection 
was because of the weight of vehicles and impact on this heavily residential and very busy road. And what happened when they overturned it is they didn't fix the things that were wrong with planning. So all those things that are wrong are currently tearing these roads apart. If you look at the road markings in front of you, and these were fresh in January, and that's the weight of vehicles we're already enduring now that the site's up. So we consider this a matter of absolute urgency now. As I say, six years we've all kept it at bay and every year they promised they'd be in full production. But now it's really urgent and we really need the most support we can get. But also for our message to reach Westminster because, you know, that's where it needs to go. So perhaps if you could try and push Jeremy to raise the subject for us. Yes, I will be contacting Jeremy's office and speaking to Jeremy and asking him to deal with this issue. And I'm going to ask the Labour Party to kind of really go back on it and actually still start raising the issue. Because as far as I'm concerned, it's not finished. This battle isn't finished. It's not done and dusted. That is not what we can do still to campaign against. And I think it's a case of campaign raising awareness. And yeah. I'll certainly be doing that. Thank you so much. Really glad you came today. And as for it not being finished, well, for the people here, because our grandchildren live here, this fight doesn't end until it stops. And they haven't got the drill in the ground yet. Yeah. So we're actually really hopeful. But thank you very much for your help. So. And it's Bolton East, isn't it? Southeast. Sorry, Bolton Southeast, yes. yes. Yasmin Qureshi, thank you very much. Double fresh. I'm sorry.